it's mine. Can't afford a scuff or an elite if you don't know what a scuff is. Well, I haven't got one with me, but this is the elite controller. Straight up bang, just an elite controller. Uh, it has the paddles on the back, 200 bucks Australian. Scuff controller, I don't have one right next to me at the moment. Scuff is about 250. If you don't know what scuffs are, they have trigger stops and they have paddles and they have better sticks, okay? But sticks don't last as long. It's got to come all the way from the States. Some people have a problem with their paddles and they're just expensive. You just bought an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, but this is more importantly for the Xbox One, this uh, little video. And you've got your standard controller. This is your standard Xbox One controller. This is the Gears of War one. Now, when you're playing shooters, Call of Duty, Gears of War, you name it, they're there. And we've got COD coming out and Blackout and PUBG. The Xbox One controller is a good controller. The sticks are good, they got rid of the dead turn, a bit small. But the biggest issue is you've got to take your finger off the sticks to press the buttons. The other thing is too, the triggers, you have to press down a lot to get that sweet spot, that good little shot, little pop shot. You know, get those bullets firing. You haven't got a trigger stop. Because you know, they made the Xbox One controllers for drivers and all games all around. It's not a bad controller. Well, I have the answer for you, peeps. Now, it's a little bit noobish, but I did a little experiment. I bought some things on eBay. Well, the most expensive one was a new controller. It's not new secondhand, it's the Combat Tech. The reason I bought this one because it's got rubberized grip on the back. It's also got a grip on the front. That silver bit is grippy on the back there. And you're probably, what, what's, what else you got attached to it? Well, well, what else? I also looked online on eBay and they have these little trigger stops which you can buy for 10 bucks. I'll link it in the description when I find it because uh, I bought it on eBay weeks and months ago. It came in no time, 10 bucks. And if you look, it's, it's a black rubber and see that orange thing on the side? That's the trigger stop. They are 10 bucks. They come with a tool, easy to take off, easy to put on. Now this control, I'm not gonna lie, it is grippy as F. I mean, I could probably play this underwater. Now, the beauty thing with this one, people, is it's got rubber on here, it's got that. But even still, look, I bought a new controller. That was 70 bucks from America. So these were 10 bucks. Now these paddles is the FBS, I think what's it called? It's called the uh, Strike Pack FBS Dominator Wide Next Generation Mod Pack. That was $70. No, sorry, I got that for $50 on eBay. You can buy them at uh, JB Hi-Fi for $70. Now, these, this is wide, not a braided wide, but it's got paddles on the back. You take the battery pack out, whack it in, and away you go. Now, the only issue I have with this one, it starts off with tournament mode, but you can have mods on it, okay? Like, here, hold your breath while sniping, rapid fire, all that kind of stuff. I wish I didn't do it. I wish I had just basic paddles and made it cheaper, but no, they found the market for noobs. So, with all that, plus I might even try these puppies, the Control Freaks, Black Ops 4 Special Edition for Xbox One, they were 35. All that, if you don't include the controller, for just under 100 bucks or just fit over, you've got yourself a bit of a scuff, a bit of a cheat. Don't cheat, people. This mod stripe pack can be used for cheating. Don't use it for cheating. That's really noobish, don't do it. So without further ado, we're gonna jump from this camera, I'm gonna grab some lunch, and then I'm gonna try it on Halo 5, and Gears of War f uh, 4? I thought I'd say 5. Did you know it's, on the day I'm making this, seven years ago, Gears of War 3 came out. <sighs> Fuck, I'm shedding a tear, because Gears of War 4 ain't nothing like Gears of War 3. Frag and tag, let's jump on over and see how this noobish, cheapish, really grippish controller works. Excuse the snoring, that's my dog. Let's go and pawn to noobs, yeah. Hey people, so I'm back. Um, I've had a couple games, I'm getting owned by Made in Oz, it's Gears of War 4. Getting used to the paddles, uh, the grip on this controller is is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, like it's gonna be awesome. I've got Dave Julius on my team. Uh, we lost the last game. We've lost every game because Made in Oz is just he's Made in Oz, man. He's going nuts. So shout out to him. So here we go. I have set it up for the A button paddle to be on the right paddle, be on the left. Frag and tag. I've had my sensitivity there in between. 
let's see if I can get some good clips here and uh, tell you what I think of this uh, the paddles. The trigger stops, they're good. I'm gonna not look at a lot, they're very good. The paddles are very responsive. Shit, my nods has got that. He's gone. You did. Shit. They can't be Finally got him. Woo. Well played. Finally got him. Finally got him. Finally got him. He's the best player in the lobby by far, man. He plays a lot, but his shots are good. Like, this is the thing, man. You're gonna see credit with credit too. Yeah. Wybot's doing some good people. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with it, man. I'm happy with this whole control setup I've got. I'm not happy with the fact that I can't hit fight for shit. Oh! <laughs> that was stupid, like, <laughs> I've got him, I've got him. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. Like, and I think it's because the sticks on the Xbox One X are better than PlayStation 4, man, by, by far. I, I think they're both good controllers, but the competitive game types and straight off the bat, the Xbox One X controller, I'm a bit biased, but it is better. Oh, fucking day, Julius. too bad. Let's see how we go on Halo 5. Roaming King, I haven't played this one, this mode before, so I'm trying out the new controller. I've just, easy, I won't lie, easy, just to adjust it to, you know, A being on the left, B being on the right uh, bumper, which is how I like it for Halo. The trigger stops pretty good. The grip, really happy with the grip on this controller. See how my accuracy is. This is Swifty Gameplay. The dog has just woken up. You got bad breath, man. Yeah, don't look at me like that. You know you do. All right, it's okay. Let's see we go. Wow. Stolen. Stolen. Oh, 
Oh, right. Stolen. Okay, not too bad. It feels really good with this controller. Stolen. Take it. Stolen. I'm gonna get a heal. Oh yes, loving this. Okay, so the controller feels good. This game mode is a lot of fun. I think I'll be playing this for the rest of the hour. Stolen. Oh yeah, you can do that. Yeah, definitely, definitely a lot of have the Halo. This whole setup is good. Stolen. Good Taken. Take it in it. Take it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Take it. What the hell? What are you doing? Take it. <laughs> Stolen. <laughs> Initiating Slayer. I okay. am eager to see how well you perform. Okay, if I get sniped, let's see how I go with snipe. Yuck. I wish you. Major improvement with my accuracy, people. Major improvement with my accuracy. I'm just been chilling out. So definitely, 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 people, check out the links in my description. Um, I'll try and find them on eBay and show them you again. Like just say, look, man, like this this thing here in particular is the, the grip, the controller, the sticks for Halo 5, like maneuverability, so much better as you saw in that end clip. So hope you enjoyed the video. Pray to have a good day today, and you'll catch your mofos in the next video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe with notifications on. Smack the like button, follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page. Another video coming soon. I'm gonna have some fun. See ya.